It's been many from my heart Anywhere we go is where Food on special occasions is always fun to make and eat, especially with loved ones. A few of our friends who recently moved to Germany were going to come over and I thought what better than to serve something interesting to make their time special with us. I had a few dishes planned in my mind and I simply decided to make them with a slight twist. The intention was to keep things to munch on rather than have a proper sit down meal. And they say if you want to glimpse the future you need space. And you said you'll put down your morning guns. After putting the pasta to boil, kneading atta to make pao. Take my hand Walk beside me in a world of thunder Fear is an imposter When you look at me this way Arranging the table in an interesting way can make the entire menu seem even more delicious. Wait up till the end of the video to not only see very easy recipes but also how I like to display them. If you already have some juices in the refrigerator, then that's brilliant. Today I decided to serve two drink options, one being Jaljeera which is a tangy and spicy option and the second being sweet mango juice. You just wanna drink your beer and grab a glass and let it go too. We're going down. Do you enjoy colorful peppers? Take out all your leftover capsicums because you don't need a lot of it in this recipe. It's easier to assemble things in the end if we have some veggies pre-cut and prepped. Can you guess what I am cutting these cute triangle shapes for?
Mix in some pre-boiled chanas with all these ingredients and get yourself a nice base for a snack that I'm going to assemble a little later. I've often noticed that kids love to grab onto fresh fruits or even simple cucumber slices if available, an option that even parents don't hesitate giving them. This one minute fresh idea is totally dedicated to cater to those cute birdies. <laughs> Nicely cut watermelon dressed with honey and chopped pista. Voila, here's a 2 minute snack ready to be served. Better still is to serve after chilling in the fridge for a while. I'd like to take a moment to thank Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create professionally designed websites. Being a novice at technical stuff, it's been a challenge for me to build a new website. With the effortless process using Squarespace, I've built the first draft for my homepage in under 15 minutes. There are many useful tools to make your journey more fun, from analytics to scheduling and so much more. If you're a small business, a creator, or simply looking to build an online presence, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to the link to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Meanwhile, arranging the table with some napkins and dips. Having these little things available from beforehand adds a nice touch and shows that you've taken efforts as a host. So, were you able to guess the use of those colourful peppers? Here's how I'm using them. Making these quick to grab pasta slash pizza sticks that are super easy to make. Simply layer with pizza sauce, chopped veggies and cheese. Microwave it for 2 minutes or briefly bake it in the oven. This one is something our friends can grab in one hand while chit-chatting with us. It's complete when you have it with some ketchup that I've already placed on the side as a dip. Make me 
Everything about hosting should be simple and comforting. On a hot summer day, fresh fruits make for a brilliant option to be served chilled. Today, I am serving cucumber as well, but in a very unique way. Have you heard of Makhana Bhel before? <laughs> These days I am into trying out new recipes and Makhana Bhel is one recent discovery of mine. I wanted to add something that reminds them of India. Bhel Puri served on the streets in these paper cones is a memory we all have. Now make sure to roast the makhanas in a nice crunchy texture and then assemble them in the very end. It was time finally to bring things out on the table and lay them out nicely. A few recipes may not turn out the way one intends to but what matters is the intention we make them with. Many happy thoughts crossed my mind while preparing all these. I hope these recipes make you equally happy. Have a wonderful day ahead. See you all next week.